What is going on people and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I've purchased a new car. So if you've been following my Facebook and Instagram, you'll have seen that I'm looking for a new family car. And now I've found one. I've ended up with a car that I had no intention of buying and that if you'd have asked me two months ago, I would have said I'd never own one, but I've ended up with it nonetheless. There's a few reasons on why I bought this vehicle and we'll go into that later in the video. But the vehicle what I've ended up with is an X6. Now for anyone that knows me, knows that I am a VAG man. I like my Volkswagen and Audi group and this vehicle is as far from what someone would imagine I would own. I like the VAG platform, I know how to fix them, I know how to maintain them and I know what to look for. I bought this pretty much blind. I saw it on a local dealer near me. I showed it to my wife. Mrs. Core approved. I went to take it for a test drive and I was sold. And I'm sure there's a lot of BMW enthusiasts out there watching this going, well, obviously, BMWs drive well. That's what they do. And for some reason, I've never really fancied one. So I'm going to tell you a few things about this vehicle and why I bought it and a few problems what I've encountered. Or not problems so much, but things that I don't like. So what was the selling point for me? Well, of course, it's a premium vehicle. And because of the age, I got it for quite cheap. I got it with low miles, it's got 60,000 miles on the clock, but the main thing were, it's the X40D. And for those that don't know BMWs or X6s, the X40D is probably the middle of the line one, but it's quite a high powered diesel engine. It's still the three litre straight six engine, but it's got the extra horsepower. And that's what I fell in love when I was driving it. I had two stipulations for my vehicle. I had to fit an additional baby in there because we are growing and I wanted it to be automatic because I'm lazy. Now this is automatic and it is a big car, but it's not so much of a family car. So I've compromised on that. However, the compromise was met with a vehicle that's got reliable heritage, tested, tried and proven. It's got low miles. It doesn't require any major maintenance. So it runs off cam chains rather than cam belts. And it's got two turbos. So the things I don't like about this vehicle that are destined for change, because of course I don't get any vehicle and leave it standard. However, I do want to try and leave this one as standard as possible. It's going to be a family car. It needs to be reliable. And I don't, definitely don't want to be messing about with the mechanical side of it. And I'm sure I'm probably gonna quote this in a video in the future when I put some bigger turbos on it or hybrid or you know get it remapped. And I'm, I'm sure this will be hilarious for me to quote that I said I weren't gonna do it. But it's not my intention to do that. Now, although this X6 is an older model, it is the, this, this one in particular is actually a 2011 model. So it's the same as the 09 to 16 plate, I believe. I think from the outside, it still looks like a very modern car. Of course, when you compare it to the new X6, it does show its age. But then from the inside, the major bit I do not like, this interior is very, very dated. And something needs to be done about this. I've looked on the forums, there's not much. People seem to settle for it. Now, the equivalent vehicle what I was going to get was an Audi A6 Avant and that sort of thing. I, I mean, I, I was looking for this price range. I was looking to get a virtual dash in there um, or at least a, a bezel-less screen that pops up out of the dash. And this thing, I, I don't know, it's just got that dated feel to it. The screen's a little bit matted um, rather than the shiny gloss screens what you get in the new vehicles. It's got that wood effect that goes around the vehicle, which I'm sure is appealing to some, but not to me. And I don't know, I just get this overall vibe that it's, it's an older car when I'm behind the wheel. Regardless of that, it drives beautiful and it drives like a new car and it's really fun to drive. But that is one of the major things I'm looking at getting fixed. Second to that, although the vehicle has not had many miles put on it, there is quite, um, quite an aroma of the vehicle. Uh, the only thing I can compare it to is a taxi in my hometown Burnley. It has that aroma of well, well used, should we say. And it doesn't appear to be well worn. I look around the vehicle and the bolster's not worn on the seats. Um, the carpets appear to be very clean, but something's giving that, something's giving that aroma. Um, so in the next video, I'm gonna be contacting a guy called Jordan, who works, who owns the Detail Doctor. That's a company down south near me. And we're gonna see what we can do about this awful stench that is in this vehicle. Because of course, it's a family vehicle and not only do I want it to, to smell nice because I like my things clean, but I want to family proof it. I want to get some protection caught on the carpet and I want to make sure that my two young children or one, one child and one, one coming um, are going to have more of an issue trying to damage or spill, spill drinks or drop sweets 
and it's, it's not going to be as detrimental to the vehicle. I've submitted, I'm fully prepared that the back of this is probably not going to be in the best of conditions because although I am a new father, I'm not naive enough to believe that I can have a clean vehicle the same as I used to. But I think one of the major things and what people often overlooked, and certainly from my vehicle detailing background, is people often overlook the, the initial protection. You'd always get people in to repair an issue and that would take you a day's labour to remove, I don't know, maybe stuck on chewing gum from various places of the vehicle and give the inside a real deep clean. But if they'd, have, if they'd have taken that preventative measure, they wouldn't have needed to come in for that. And often it's the same price. So definitely check out the next video for that. And of course, there's gonna be plenty of videos to come on how I'm going to bring this interior into the 21st century. But other than that, I hope you have a fabulous weekend and I'll catch you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,